up guys? I'm Kashan and you are watching The Book Archer. So I'm very excited about this video today because it is a discussion video. My first discussion video for the year. I love doing discussions and I definitely have quite a few more coming for you guys in 2016 so be on the lookout for those. I wanted to start off with this one because this is one that I have been wanting to do forever. Today I want to talk to you guys about judging hyped series or judging it based off like the first book if that makes sense i'm not exactly sure how to word it but we're gonna jump right into it there are a ton of hype series on booktube ones that we hear about all the time and can be intimidating to pick up or make us want to read those immediately and a lot of times people go into these books with super high expectations if you hear about a series that's beloved you're like oh yeah i'm gonna read this first book my mind's gonna be blown yes 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 i'm gonna love this series and then you read it and it's like that was it that was like a three star book. Why do people love this? I don't get it. Now me personally, I've never been that type of reader. Even if a series is super hyped up, that usually makes me lower my expectations of it. My mind, I'm just like, okay, this is a hyped up series. Emphasis on series. However, that I'm finding out is not a common thing. So I kind of want to discuss with you guys expectations versus reality. One thing I noticed after reading popular certain popular series or becoming fans of popular series is a lot of that time is that that hype is something that becomes gradual. It might be popular in the first book, but they don't have a hard, a diehard fandom until the second or third book. I want to use the most common example and the most classic example that you might see later on in this video as well, and that is going to be my favorite series. Throne of Glass. When I first read the first Throne of Glass book, I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot, but it wasn't my favorite series. I wasn't all of a sudden obsessed with Throne of Glass. I, I wasn't. I didn't stand for it. Like, I wasn't a part of the fandom. I was just like, oh, that was a pretty good fantasy book. I really, really liked it. And I'm just like, yes, that book was great. Like, I liked it. It was good. I didn't become obsessed with Throne of Glass until I read Air of Fire. That's the third book in the series. I know a lot of people love Throne of Glass after they get to Crown of Midnight. But for me, I wasn't like, oh my god, I love this series until I got to Air of Fire. I feel like the equivalent of a book series reminds me of a relationship when you first start dating somebody when you first become invested you don't immediately love them but it's gradually you go on and y'all are together and you're like oh i'm still liking you i'm still liking you this is still good this is still good oh my goodness oh my goodness it's getting better it's getting better this is great this is great i love this series so when someone is talking about how much they love a series or a book and they're trying to get you to read the book they just kind of want you to start the journey that's my perspective on it you have to really see and grow with characters and see them develop to really Really kind of decide if you like a series in my opinion because a lot of things I like about maybe Selena's character or some other uh, main characters they have to develop those things throughout books two and three and four when you first meet characters they're in the raw state they haven't had anything happen to them really not in the story yet you don't know who their love interests are you don't know their backstory you don't know anything about plot twists so it's kind of hard to judge a whole series based off just the first book mm, i don't understand the hype behind that book but you only read the first book it's a hyped up series some books are hyped up but when you're reading a hyped up series i just don't feel like sometimes it's 100 percent fair the series is a very newer concept and it's way more popular concept than it was in previous times so you have to remember that it's still one complete story the story isn't over yet after the first book another example for that with me with me would be cinder I read Cinder and I really liked it. I wasn't super obsessed or crazy over it. I just thought that it was good. But by the time I got to Crest, the third book, 
and winter i was like oh my god marissa maya is amazing i need to read everything that she writes i love her i love these characters etc but that came in like the third book the way i saw the story weaving together the way i saw the story playing out but one book doesn't always represent how an entire series will be now i know some of you guys are going to be like okay well if the series is so great then every single book in the series needs to be great and i need to love it from beginning to end and you know what sometimes that does happen i have read series where i'm like i loved all the books in the trilogy the first book was the best one the second book was even better they get better and better i love them all at the same time especially with series that have more than three books I try to leave a little bit of wiggle room. I'm just more of a laid back reader so my expectations aren't as harsh as I feel maybe some other people's are but I really want to know what you guys thoughts is on judging a hyped up series just by the first book. I do want to use a really prime example of a series that has definitely grown on me with each book and that is Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. This is a lot of you guys' favorite book series like ever of all time. Y'all love it. And I read the first book and I was like, oh, that was okay. But then I read the second book and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It was getting even better. And I think I'm on the third book right now. I'm pretty sure that I'm on the third book and I'm really, really loving it. So with each book, this series is starting to grow on me and I'm really starting to become attached to the characters and I'm really liking it. But this is a five book series. That is not something that happened overnight. But I want to know your guys' opinions. What book series did you grow to love over time? Leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at The Book Archer. Bye!